Hi everyone, hope you're doing good. Welcome to the another video on Swift interview series. Today's interview question is regarding Generex. Well, a very, very favorite topic of interviewers. Well, the problem statement is write a generic function to add two numbers. This question aims to test two things. First, are you aware about Generex? Second, are you actually hands on Generex and protocols? Well, Without wasting any further time, let's get started. Okay, you might be wondering, is this exactly an interview question or I'm just faking it up? Well, we all know Genetics is quite hot topic in interviews and everyone wants to know whether the interviewer knows about Genetics or not. But asking such a simple question, is it worth it? Well, this is not that simple as we are thinking, right? So let's see how we can do it. So let's create a function func sum. And then since it's generic, let's take t as a generic parameter and let's take two arguments a and b of type t. And since we have to return a sum, so we have to return a generic type as well. If I return a plus b, a lot of a lot of us would think that okay this is done but actually when you try to print the output right let's say 10 and 10 and if you run this program oops we would see that this binary operator plus cannot be applied to two operands i guess a lot of us would have already figured this out by this time that why this is not working but just to repeat this t right this is generic it could be anything. It could be primitive data type. It could be non-primitive data type, object, string, float, whatever, right? And since we're trying to do an arithmetic operation, now imagine A plus B, if they're two different objects, would it work? If A and B, they're string, would that work? So this would definitely not work. So how we can make it work? We can simply make it work by confirming to numeric protocol. Now, when we confirm to this numeric protocol, we confirm that whatever arithmetic operation or scalar properties or values we're doing, those are integers and are only floats. So now if you just run this value, if you just run the statement print sum, you will get the value 20. Now, instead of passing the integers, right, if you just pass any float values 0.56 and let's say 0 0.09, and if you run it again, you will see the correct output here. So it means by confirming to the numeric protocol, you are dealing with integers and floats. What if you pass string here, right? A, B, C, would this work? Absolutely not. You get an error saying that, hey, cannot convert value of type string to expected argument double. Now, this is the intelligence of Swift. It knows that the first argument is double, then the second argument is expected to be double as well. Now, if you just fix it by passing it double, it would work. Even if you pass 10, it would work because it would be internally treated as double. Now, this is just one way to confirming to the numeric protocol. There is one more way we can confirm to the numeric protocol. That is something using the where clause where t is numeric. Sorry, for the typo, where t is numeric. And if you run the program, it should work perfectly without any issues. Well, that's it for today's video. If you like the video, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much.